on is there, to... Is there any news this week? Well, there, there appears to be some news. I'm not sure if there's news this week. Before we get into the news, I just want to say, you know, Pat, um, you might not know this, mm -hmm. but I just want I you might. to be aware that your voice does matter. My voice matters? Every voice matters. Oh, that's true. Every single voice. Even Every the ones we voice. don't listen to and explicitly ignore and create a culture of ignoring. Uh, Those nope. voices matter the most of all. Yeah, uh, that showing up on poorly aged things was uh who who didn't see that coming but um no clever segue blizzard is on fire activision blizzard i should specify is on fire why are they on fire what possible reason could story developer activision blizzard be on fire for for the exact same story that ubisoft was on fire for not too long ago. actually it's this it's that story plus one it's the upgraded version of that story. That story plus lawsuit? No, that story plus death. This is true. So, um, I mean, this has been updating by the hour. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's a really, it's a, I want to say four day old story, five day old story. And it is really long now. And there is it's a, real, real long. A, a lot to it, but, uh, so I have like the latest update here. Going back to the, uh, the breaking story is that essentially uh, the state of California is suing Activision Blizzard for uh, what it's calling a pervasive frat boy workplace culture in which female staff were often subject to harassment. And the lawsuit includes uh, descriptions of um, just lots of bad things happening, uh, including cube crawls and copious amounts of... Um, booze where they crawl through the cubicles and inappropriate behavior towards female employees in general female employees feeling unsafe lots so of wanna, I want to stop that for a second because the cubicle crawl part is bearing actual explanation because I was talking to somebody about this yesterday mm -hmm. and the description of cubicle crawl as it hit their head was walking around to people's cubicles drunk and getting people drunk as if it were a pub crawl mm-hmm Right. However, the cubicle crawl listed in the lawsuit from the government of California against Activision Blizzard is specifically a bunch of rowdy dudes getting wasted at the office and literally crawling on their hands and knees underneath everyone's cubicle so as to grope and or ogle the female employees sitting at their desks. So, uh, that's, that's, that's your, your, your iceberg tip, uh, of sorts. And then, uh, yeah, the level of, uh, shitty behavior towards female employees, uh, extends as far as a, uh, one employee who was, uh, on a work trip with their boss, who, um, it would appear... Uh, was the, I guess they were like traveling together and the boss brought alongside sex toys and things like that um, and, and was bragging about how he was going to score basically and uh, there were and there were um, uh, you know illicit pictures of this employee who were that were shared throughout the company and that employee then committed suicide uh, on the work trip uh, it really so, it really reads like this poor lady killed herself in order to avoid being sexually assaulted by her boss. Um, like the, 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 the most blunt reading possible. As this is apparently a boss who had been sexually harassing her in the past that they sent her on a trip with. So lots of this, lots of uh, discussion about uh, 
looking at this and looking at other you know uh, similar situations where you have a company where there's lots of people who are higher up that are known uh, perpetrators known people that are shitty and that are being protected uh, by the people who by the powers that be you have the, the, mm -hmm. the jokes about uh, this this boss for example having the Crosby suite which is a reference to uh, Bill Crosby uh, uh, or the, I believe uh, it was a typo in the article in the complaint Okay, it was okay. So it's the Cosby Suites. It's supposed okay. to be Cosby Suites. The Cosby Suites, exactly. So there you go. Um, then you know all of that uh, goes down, and it involves uh, like tons and tons and tons of employees are all, all verifying and backing this up once again, and similar to the Ubisoft story about th this uh, shit culture and the company, which then. Uh, leads to uh, their official response being effectively um, nah, -uh. and they get a nice Wait. what? There, there, there were three official responses on within hours. That's the best part. Okay. So the official response from the Activision CEO. And the Blizzard CEO was that these are very serious allegations that must be taken seriously and to contact them if you want to snitch on your boss for being a creepy toucher because we had no idea this was going on. And then within minutes of those going out, the chief compliance officer for Activision Blizzard parent company put out a statement saying that the uh, state of California is full of shit and that they made the whole thing up. And then the official Activision Blizzard came out where they said that this is one of the reasons why businesses are leaving California because of right. this kind of overzealous government right. oversight. Yeah. And, yeah. And now... The indignation. Two days ago, Activision and Blizzard specifically have said that we have uh, this is a deep uh, they didn't know what was happening even though nothing was happening and that they're very sorry for nothing because nothing happened and literally all three entities here are all playing leapfrog as to nothing happened but if it did we're really sorry and come tell us about what happened so we can deal with the people that did this even though no one did anything and also fuck you california also, fuck off, California, how dare you uh, right. look at us. In particular, on top of this, there's the detail. Uh, what is that guy's name? There's one particular director named specifically uh, the, the gentleman with the Cosby suite um, in which uh, he was described as like one of the worst at mm -hmm. the company. I forget. I forget his name. Um it started with an A, I want to say. But uh, saw people talking about, oh, they finally found out about him, huh? Just probably you know, Blizzard employees talking on Twitter. Uh, and he left the company so suddenly that it was not known he did not work there until like three months after he left. And in that Twitter thread, you have what might be my favorite part of this whole story, which is former story man of Blizzard Entertainment, Chris Medson, who has not worked there for eight years, accidentally name-searching himself by tweeting at the thread, just replying to people talking about abusers with the phrase Chris Medson. Oh, that's good. That's Chris always good. put out a statement er earlier today in which he describes how sorry he is for not noticing only to be called out directly by former employees going, motherfucker, you're the one who told me that I should stick to what I'm good at, taking notes and organizing meetings. And this is by a lady who is now like a senior developer, at like, uh, uh, I forget what it was, but it was a MMO developer. She's quite talented and has a, had a prolific career since then. So uh, and also, my favorite part about all this is that all the people who worked at Blizzard, um, all the all the old hands at Blizzard. Did you remember that they all left eighteen months ago? Like mm -hmm. all of the senior mm -hmm, staff mm -hmm, just mm -hmm, fucked mm -hmm, off mm -hmm, mm -hmm. about six months into the 
government of California's investigation into their workplace? So that's, Suddenly they all quit. Yeah. So that's what I was about to bring up is that this investigation has been going on for two years. Uh, yeah. This has been a large, full-ass thing that the um, the DFEH uh, uh, was looking into. And um, after a two-year investigation, which all the all the people that have left within the time frame of this investigation, suddenly it all make it makes a ton of sense. Uh, Isn't yeah, that weird they, how all these classic Blizzard employees all just bailed all at the same time right away. And then the phrasing of the of the statement given in response directly from Activision was uh, to call this irresponsible behavior from unaccountable state bureaucrats. Oh yeah, like um, I think. Yeah. Side I note: reminder it. that um, Bobby Kotick was on Epstein's uh, pl plane. So just uh, Bobby. You mean Kotick? that guy who killed himself? Oh yeah, uh, yes, that that guy. Yeah, yeah, just that guy. Okay. Side side note um, that he was on the Epstein plane, by the way. Just you know, just in case that was. So, uh, I, I retweeted a gentleman who uh, expressed the thought, but I think it's the thought that everyone had, which is the the line from, I think his name's J. Allen Brack, and all the old Blizzard guard, who would have been at the top of the company during the worst of this, have all come out and said, "Guys, we're really sorry." We just never noticed. We didn't listen. And it's like, there is explicit investigatory documentation of groups of dudes showing up to work wasted and having a party crawling under people's desks, groping each other. A practice that must have been going on for years and years. Well, you didn't notice? I've seen game development offices. They're giant spaces. You can look across the room in most of them. You didn't? You couldn't? What? You didn't see that? And what? the the And the fact that this is a, like, at this point, almost expected and continued narrative across tons of large companies where these practices get, again, super shuffled to the fucking bottom of the, of the, of the, uh, uh, um, priority list and the fact that like hr is then set up to be explicitly anti um victim and entirely human corporate defense human resources is not about being pro-employee human resources is in order to prevent the company from being sued exactly and you see this time and time again and um this is just another exact replica of uh, that Ubi situation in which uh, you, yeah, you can follow along. I, I, w I was, again, talking, I have a friend who literally went through the ringer with that, like, had to deal with it firsthand and had to have her complaint get completely ignored time and time again, and then when forcing it and putting it to confrontation, eventually it it's the equivalent of um, taking your... Um, taking your your molesting priest out of the parish and moving them over to another one or over to a different mm -hmm. department or over back to the Vatican they literally just shuffle employees around shuffle so that around. so that you won't be around the person who is the abuser anymore now stop and then, and that's the end of that um fucking insanity so um that then, of course, progresses. Lots of things get involved. I believe the uh, chief legal officer they hired working on this used to work for George W. Bush. So uh, that was wild. She was the one who put, she was the compliance officer who came out and uh, um, pulled a, a very typical political line of like the fucking government's overstepping their bullshit. Yeah. Big, big, the biggest guns. And, uh, yeah, so what then uh, obviously started ha to happen was the employees who uh, were aware of this and then uh, seeing the story unfold then saw the response that they put out, which was the company basically going, fuck you, nuh uh. And. Nuh uh, no, great company. Good company, no touch. And uh, the result has been that. <laughs> Over th over a thousand employees have been like fuck this. Have signed letters of condemnation against the company, um, and 
work on, for example, World of Warcraft has entirely is, stopped. Um, I can imagine it's not just WoW, that's the one we have confirmation on, but I can imagine development across the board is just done right now until uh, something happens. So yeah, that was coming from Jeff Hamilton uh, on Twitter who's saying um, no work is being done uh, as this all plays out. No one really knows what to do. Uh, everyone is kind of just like completely dumbstruck at the fact that uh, this kind of story, well, mainly that, like, again, the story is a slow bleed for anyone that has been in, in the company watching this whole mm -hmm. investigation take place, but the response has been baffling because they're just like, nah, fuck it, none of this is -uh. important, didn't happen, -uh. doesn't, like, just the complete deflection, the complete lack we're, of... We're very sorry, and you can talk to us about the thing that didn't happen. And uh, when you're a giant corporate beast of this size, um, of course, there's always going to be that initial, like, confusing messaging period. But, mm -hmm. like, the first message coming out and being this completely dismissive of stories that are literally including, as you mentioned, death. Um, it's, I can see... It's the instantaneous reaction from anyone at that company expecting that this might have led to a massive overhaul in the company culture, seeing that they're like, now nah, we're going to fight it. Fuck you all. Oh, okay. being like, so this is, even, why even the chips have settled, uh, sorry. And the dust is settled and, and whoever needs to get fired. So that there's no lawsuit gets fired. Still just gonna go right back to what it was eventually because there's definitely people that you must imagine are Like look everyone is everyone's looking at their CV at all times You never never fucking know mm -hmm. what's going on and a lot of people that are, are uh, Here following this again like must be going well here it is Let's see how this goes and at best this will lead to a a overturn a cleansing a massive shift in things or fucking nothing and it's, if fucking nothing has been the you know the the response of the, the 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 flavor of the response to date then like would activision dollars uh 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 not step in here to spend as much as they can on legal defense of all this shit will activision I dollars mean, buy uh, back the goodwill that's being burned away I'm like not a what? lawyer, but it is my impression that a, gov a state government, like, employment body that spends the time to interview and investigate a company for multiple years only to publicly blast them open with a lawsuit, I'm pretty sure California has this in the bag. It's wild that, like, that's the degree this is at because... That's so much further and more, like, that's so much further along than, like, oh, yeah, Quantic Dream with the shitting dick and balls. And yeah. David Cage yelling out some dumb shit. And that was all press. That's you know, what's crazy. That wasn't even the government. That was just the press. And and stories of Ubi and like all and like all these like stories that have come out where they're just like yeah fucking dirtbags uh, are out and about here and they're being shuffled and protected. That's always just Bryn like stories leaks, you know former employees talking about what their experiences have been and whatnot. But like this one is like straight up massive giant legal fucking uh uh, uh, uh like it's accusations I mean... more than more than just hearsay more than just words more than just stories like a literal lawsuit they're going to court and they're probably going to lose to some degree and uh it's 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 kind of wild that all the former heads of the company that no longer there are all hitting twitter with their like novels saying Man, I just never noticed. Like Chris Metzen's the one that pops to mind because it's mm -hmm. his like the name searching himself is just the funniest thing. But um and it's just like this I I couldn't believe any of it less. You cannot tell me that you ran this company for decades and you just never saw it. That kind of 
allowance for behavior starts at the top. That behavior starts at the top and it goes downward. I think another way of looking at it too is um, to to start from the top and look downward. If someone dying as a result of what's happening doesn't change anything, then what will? Well, I can tell you exactly what that is. Because the same people who are bowing their heads in false contriteness about how sorry it is look at somebody killing themselves due to the stresses imparted upon them by their work and the relationships they're in, inappropriate as they were, and go, wow, that's so sad. And that's the end of the thought. No examination. And if the... somebody asked them, hey, man, why do you think she did it? Guess they were just crazy. Because the letter that the official response letter actually makes reference to it and uses it as a moment to be indignant, which oh, yeah. sickened by the how, reprehensible how conduct up this person's death that of is the DFEH totally to drag to it to the complaint of a tragic suicide of an employee whose passing has no bearing whatsoever on this case and no regard for her grieving family when uh -huh. it sounds like it had everything to do with this case. I mean, uh, my, my initial thing was like that kind of indignation better come along with the family also saying how dare you but somehow I don't think it is somehow I think a family whose family member kills themselves due to this kind of scenario isn't going how could you possibly use this to to fucking shit on the company they worked for everything was great there I love Activision I don't think that's the reality I think when people die in these kinds of circumstances family members are looking for any kind of closure or or justice out of the situation so yeah all of that leads to thousands of employees not knowing uh what the fuck to do because this what are you is... gonna do start taking orders on what to work on from somebody that you're pretty sure is gonna get fired in three days <laughs> Right? Because, like, because this is one of the worst possible ways this could have played out as far as response goes. Knowing it's knowing the bomb is going to drop is one thing, but getting your response team ready and having the EMTs ready to go and then they're spraying oil and spraying I oil on it. I can only imagine there are a lot of people rushing up on those CVs and resumes right of now. Of course. Every, like, like the 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 real story takes place on linkedin yeah always remember that months. in all of these cases the real story takes place on linkedin every single mm -hmm. time um you know it's it's astonishing because ubisoft long scummiest video game publisher that i'm aware of had a story this week and was set to be the scum of the week. And Activision Blizzard, not to be outdone, always got that Blizzard quality, best of the best, even in Scandal, just stole it away from them. And I'd like to I'd like to make a statement because we I meant I talked about Rune Terror earlier today and right before we came into this segment where I was shitting all over Blizzard deservedly, somebody pointed out that Riot was also a frat boy shithole. Yeah. With the, the with sexist hiring practices and all sorts of stuff. The face farting. And and I have to be blunt is that I have really, really bad news for people that enjoy video games. Mm -hmm. What's that bad news, Pat? I remember when the Riot stuff came out and I said, I bet a ton of companies are like this and we'll, we either won't know, but you can assume. And then all the Ubisoft stuff came out. And then now the Activision Blizzard stuff comes out. It's like, I'm under the assumption that almost any game company over a certain size is housing just a bunch of criminals. Just like most jobs. I can tell you right now, I know at least one company that there's got a bunch of thieves in it. 
Just a ton of them. So when uh, I sat down and recorded a podcast episode talking about the, the, the old QA days and the various companies and such that uh, we worked for, like it was, it was the, the last Wooly will figure it out when I sat down with uh, 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 James, a former person that I used to work with, and we just kind of reminisced on some of this shit. And like it from day one, there was always immediately identifiable, like, creeps that would pass the test, so to speak, yep. um, make the cut, get it, show up, and within hours of them being, you know, uh, uh, at the company, show you, oh, yeah, you can't trust this person uh, around, like, a uh, woman. You can't trust them to their tasks. You can't trust this person at all. It's this person stuff. is insanely dangerous. And um, it was always a a race of like, okay, will th th anything happen here? Will they do anything about it? Or will they just let it rock and go like, oh, we're not going to take it too seriously? And, and once that person gets promoted That's once... exactly literally what I was about to say. And, and if you fail the race and the person then gets put into a position of being in the clique now. You're a group, you've gotten promoted, you're now a manager, you're not a sub-manager, you're not a group leader, whatever the case is. You're well, now in a position- we man. We gotta ship this. We don't have and, time to get a new whatever. And then you watch as the first taste of immunity starts to, to, to show up. And like, the severity of what the fuck they do doesn't go down. It always gets weirder and weirder and, and eventually like, you get mighty number nine <laughs> um yeah and like i mean there was like like there was a point where i had like uh uh people that were like really just weird and like you had these stories about shit that was happening with them that you're like that's 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 fucked up and 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 and, and you know i left the company and then finding out like the trajectory of like how some of these people went where um, in this particular case, like creepy behavior went to like literal sexual assault into literal mm -hmm. like uh, uh, battery and like rape ac accusations and like things where you're like, yeah, you need to like identify that and get it the fuck out of your company immediately because that nah, is but indicative. We got to ship, dude. We don't have time for this. We got to ship. Because who knows where the fuck that goes over time, especially when protected, you know? It's insane. Um, so we literally talked about shit like that, and we talked about, like, uh, just, and, and, yeah, and, uh, no, just, and just the idea of, like, yeah, like, overall, um, these, the larger the company, the moment they get past that promotion point, as you just mentioned, you get into the game, and then you get, you, you eventually are in a, a, a higher tier of really important people that are, you know, you, an accusation comes against you, but you go for drinks with the people who make the decisions ah, every Friday. Ah, it's not a big deal, man. I don't, I don't so know. they go, hey, what's this about? And then they get to hear uh, the one side of the story, and then HR is also at the table, and they go, all right, yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah. don't worry about it. We got a ship. The, the, you know? These types of people, I want to attribute this quote to Doc, but I'm not super sure. It might have just been one of his retweets or somebody else, but... These types of people have a real strong habit to immediately make themselves, quote unquote, indispensable to the task by sabotaging other people's tasks and insinuating that everything would just fall apart without their management or expertise. Uh, no one's ever indispensable, ever, on anything. That's not a real thing. Everyone can be replaced. But the, the 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 movers and the shakers, so to speak, um, quite literally, are always not very good at hiding that ambition you're describing. It's no, very terrible. very it's all it, it goes hand in hand that like so people who come in and think that that type of behavior is okay, people who are gonna lock you in a broom closet and try to smell your hair. People who are gonna, you know, like be like, yeah, that's just the way we roll, and 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 you know, f basically just go back to work and think that like that's all fine, are also the same types that are trying to get the power. They're trying to get, 
they're trying to get everything right it's that it's that like Mm -hmm. slightly indicative of sociopathic behavior of just not giving a fuck about anything happening around you and you know hitting up as high as you can on the on the on the totem pole um so uh, all this is just to just reiterate that it's like the 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 more you see that early on and let it slide you are 100 percent guaranteed going to be seeing worse and worse versions of it over time because the person is being given essentially uh a freebie a pass to say hey that wasn't a big deal and if the person who's the victim in this case is more disposable than the person who is higher up you know well then whatever hopefully again hr can step in and uh either you know shuffle things around by the silence do what they got to do or and and usually uh there will be a contract or a, a document or a thing to sign that that comes out right away that completely absolves the company from any uh, um, blame or or whatever this plays out, however it plays out, they get themselves nice and early absolved from all responsibility by handing those things out. Now, how much those are actually legally binding, I have no idea, but uh, I do know knows, that they but have they those things. They can look legally binding. But I, but I know that, like, um, uh, HR will bring that type of letter out on meeting one. When you say, hey, I have a complaint about somebody, the first thing, the first, first thing is sign this. Okay, now what happened? So one a really good example of the people at the top. Let's say, let's imagine that the per the whoever the head person in charge of Blizzard's hiring practices, senior staff, actually didn't see anything they hid in their office every day and they never talked to a single employee right let's assume this completely unrealistic scenario right people have described the hiring process at blizzard and here's a perfect encapsulation of how you help create this scenario what is one of the factors you absolutely need to work at blizzard you have to be a die-hard fan of Blizzard games and love the company before you even walk in the door. It has to be a dream come true for you, which means that once you're hired, you, A, won't be looking at your paycheck for them fucking you over at substandard rates, and B, you are incentivized to shut the fuck up about any problem you ever encounter because yeah but I, I work at blizzard man it's it's been in my i don't want to i don't want to screw this up i mean mm -hmm. I, yeah i could get another job but it's it's blizzard man these guys make the best games ever yeah it's, it's i bet it's not that big of a deal yeah this, no, the, this the day to day practice hiring your fanatics creates this day to day is serving up dream jobs this is this is what goes this is yeah this is the day to day uh, uh, offering <laughs> And that definitely brings in people that are, yeah, much more... Uh, I mean, it's not to say that, like, that's every employee. There certainly are those who are not. just immensely talented that are just shifting from but it, uh, uh, one studio to another with an opening that they can definitely crush a position Absolutely, on, but... but it is a self-selection process mm -hmm. to create an, an attitude of overvaluing your work and the place in your work and not mm -hmm. wanting to rock the boat mm -hmm. i mean dude like you know this is we're all we're all that age you know my mm -hmm. my earliest dreams of wanting to work for mainframe was because i liked reboot i wanted to work for capcom because yeah. i liked street fighter i you know yeah. it's just that simple it's like you you if you were into rts games it would have been blizzard or whatever the case yeah there was there was a there was a good period of time in which they made the absolute hands down best games in the world with polish that would make Nintendo jealous. But all of that and is is still but that and that's I mean that's a thing but that's a still a very separate issue from just like realizing that um, this hiring process will let in people who are fucking creeps that need to be fired. Oh yeah, and like just not having the um 
alarm bells system in place to identify that like within you know whatever days to weeks it takes to to see that show up and then like oust that person and and just don't don't like don't even give it a second look you know um is just not a thing at any of these major AAA companies and you would think considering the fact that again if you're if you want to not be in a shitty lawsuit about sexual harassment you would think the smartest move would be to fire the person on day one of any of these infractions to save the company in the end. That's how you actually protect the company, is you you, know, you immediately get rid of that person because that's a, you can't trust that. That's a fucking there liability, you know? Hey, but, you know what's a really good example of what we're talking about, of sure. how this hiring process can incentivize scumbags? So the person whose name I could not remember the one who left and could not be discovered was a gentleman named Alex Afra Siabi, uh, who came on as a quest designer after being the head of a gigantic WoW guild. So literally just okay. hire guild leaders. They're fanatics. They might also be alleged sex pervert rapists. But ah, he loves the game so much. That's what's really important. One in every how many will be. Um, please have a button in place to immediately eject seat or drop into a trap hole. Someone who happens to slip by the fucking hiring process. On instantaneously on, on, on frame one. Uh... So then, yeah, the, the tons of the employees. And, like, I believe I've, I was hearing that, like, over oh, on man. the various... Hmm? So I typed this gentleman's name into Google, and hilariously enough, I got a Kotaku article from 2020... Uh, from 2010, in which a lady at BlizzCon asked, hey, why does every female piece of armor in the game for WoW have to step out of the Victoria's Secret catalog, at which point J. Allen Brack, the CEO, and Alex Afrasiabi continued to defensively joke about her question instead of giving a sincere answer. Even after the lady walked away from the mic, the devs of the panel continued to joke about her question. What catalog would you like us to pull from? Oh, okay. These people are obvious! That's just the piece we saw at a public convention 10 years ago. Inside the office, this shit is so clear. Um, I don't know if this aspect was true. There was some reference to like the the naked employee photos that were being passed around as uh mm -hmm. being shared uh post-mortem and Ugh. i, I don't didn't see that in the original complaint i don't know how verifiable that is um but dear fucking god yeah what a great yeah mm -hmm. well We'll see how this best goes. Best of luck to Blizzard in their lawsuit. I'm sure it'll go great. Uh, best of luck to the people who work at Blizzard uh, who are currently trying to figure out what the fuck is going to happen here. Uh, I mean, I'm obviously being sarcastic. I mean, you eat shit, Blizzard. Um, which is the best of luck to people in their new job searches, of which I'm certain there will be many. So what was the real WoW killer all along? Like, not to get too businessy or video gamey, but like the, like, WoW has had the worst month it has ever had in its life cycle because it went from groundswell to its competitor from a natural point of view to, like, people going, I cannot ethically play this game.
like I can I can very much imagine like hardcore WoW found fans looking at their game with like disgust. Like it is object like it can be very easily said that it's tainted. Well, I mean, at, at bare minimum, you know, this is one of those um, things where the the game logo will pop up from now in the future, and like everyone in the room will have, uh, you know, still the funniest podcast question we ever got. The three email B's ever. The three B's: Bioware, three B's. Bethesda, and Blizzard. Yep, that was 2013, and it was hilarious then. I mean the. Not that every fucking small studio is is is, uh, is angelic and, and perfect or whatever. No, look at the Lab Zero. N- but at all, right? right? But the odds of the giant one having ridiculous skeleton dungeons are extraordinarily high. It seems to grow linearly. There's a chance your small studio might have a problem. It is guaranteed your large studio has a problem. The problem yeah, is just any, any, how did how did they deal with it? Any studio over a certain size, you're gonna find something. Capcom recently got caught plagiarizing a ton of shit, right? Uh, Sega is partially or completely owned and run by a literal Japanese crime syndicate. Pick one. EA's just evil. Like I'm sure we'll get shit like this out of EA in a in a short amount of time. Yeah, although it does get brought into another category when you're talking about sex criminals like on the, oh, on yeah. the fucking on the move. Amazon, you know, which is our technical partner company is trying to turn their their warehouse workers into slaves. Mhm. Uh, shit. Oh, and um, Warcraft 3 Reforged has been put on hold. Oh, you mean after they fired the team? Or something. The whole team is gone. That's what happened. Okay. Well. Yeah. There's some other things that happened this week. Oh, yeah? Oh, well, thank goodness. We can get away from that dire news with all the misogyny and crimes and we can go to a nice place like Singapore where everything is good and nice 